Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, this is a new week and listening to me, God has great plans for you this week. You say me? Yes, you. He does. He has great plans for you. Praise God. Now, that's why he is giving his word to you. Now, I don't come here until I hear from the Lord what exactly he would want me to talk about. Now, if he's giving me what he wants me to talk about, I know one thing about that. He's got you in mind. Because I'm not going, Lord, tell me something, tell me something. No, I'm like, Lord, we, we've got this message to preach. Well, what's on your mind today, Lord? And then the Lord begins to inspire my heart with his thoughts. And he tells me, look, I want you to talk about this. And he gives me insight. You know why he's doing all that? Because of you. So. He's got great plans for you, praise God. And that's why he told us on this broadcast, the first thing we must do is to ask and demand for our daily bread. So that's what we're going to do right now. Are you ready? Expect a miracle as we declare these words. Say with me, say, Father, I demand and receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Expect a miracle. Why? He's got you figured out. Everything about you, he's got it figured out for you. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's broadcast. I thank you for burdens are being lifted right now. Yokes are being destroyed. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you will not hold back any good thing that is profitable to us freely we receive of your kingdom and in your heart in jesus name amen praise god turn your bibles with me to james chapter one book of james chapter one you love brother james praise god brother james wrote this later to God's children. James chapter 1 and verse 2. It says, My brethren. He's not talking to everybody in the world. He's talking to you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Are you in Christ? And James is talking to you. Praise God. He said, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. What, what, what kind of statement is this? Brother James, what are you talking about? He says, count it all joy, all joy. Let me read the Amplified translation so you see. He said in, in the Amplified, Amplified Classic, he says, consider it wholly joyful. Whoa, holy, not, not part of it now, holy. He says, consider it wholly joyful, my brethren whenever you are enveloped in or encounter trials of or of any sort or fall into various temptation hmm. consider it wholly joyful not partly not uh, it's just that God had to do this part. That's why he made. No, he says, consider it wholly joyful. Praise God. Whenever you are enveloped in or encounter trials. Now, he's telling you to have a mindset. What mindset? A joyful mindset mindset now now think about it how are you going to be joyful when you're faced with trials how are you going to be joyful when 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 your 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 landlord walks up to you and say look you've got to leave my house by the end of this month how are you gonna think i mean uh, i mean hello yes 
um, um, you're my tenant, yes? Um, I want to use my house, so your rent is due this month end, and I want you to leave. Just like that, yes, just like that. And he say, oh, <laughs> it, looks, it looks funny, praise <laughs> God. But you see, there's a reason he's saying this thing to you. And you've got to believe the Bible. Now, why do I say you've got to believe the Bible? There are instructions given in Scripture by the inspiration of the Lord. Now, it was written by man, like this is James now writing. Now, I, I believe James wasn't thinking, Holy Spirit, I want to write later to the brethren, take over my hand as I write, speak from heaven. I, I, I feel the same way we write letters today. Does that mean it's not inspired by God? Of course it's inspired by God. See, if, just like when I write partners later, I write about the things the Lord is stirring in my heart. But that doesn't mean I go before the Lord and say, Lord, what do I write? And the Lord say, write, dear partners, dear partners. Yes, Lord, I've written that. So what's next, Lord? Oh, and then the Lord now says, good morning to you. Good morning to you. No, sir. He inspires this thought in our hearts. And just the same way we preach today. See, the same way we preach today, we're inspired by the Spirit of God. So I can convert this message now into writing and send it out to you as a letter. So understand this. And that's why I tell you, you need to have a good understanding of what the Bible is. So now James is writing and then he's telling you, look, consider it a joyful thing when you fall into diverse temptation. Now, how do I know this is from the Lord? How do I know this is God speaking? Yeah, because this statement is consistent with the with the, the, the reasoning of God, which I'm going to start showing you, you know, see, as we go into this broadcast. Now, he said in verse 3, he says, knowing this, well, now, why is he telling you to count it all joy? He says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. The trying of my faith. Now, he tells you something there. Your faith is going to be tried. Now, what do you mean your faith is going to be tried? Remember when we did the faith series, I told you faith is substance, substance. So he's saying your substance is going to be tried. Now, what's the substance here? The, the body of truth that you're walking by when you say you have faith. So, I have faith in God. What's that, what am I saying? I have substance in God. That is why I am believing or walking this way. So, what is my substance? God has said to me, He will never leave me. He will never forsake me. That is substance, you know. So, I'm bold to do the things I do. Hey, how, you, how come you're so bold in, in, in taking this step? Yeah, because I prayed about it and God spoke to me clearly. And, and it's line, in line with his word that he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. And then I've got this evidence in him walking with me. So now then I want to take this new step. I prayed about it. He's giving me the go ahead. Now all these things I'm saying, they are the substance. They are my faith. Then he says... Know this, that your faith, that substance is going to be tried. So things are going to happen to question God's presence in your life. Listen, you can't stop this from happening. It's surely going to happen. Praise God. So now, why is he saying this to you? I'll show you why. He says, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Watch this now. Your faith is being tried. What does it mean your faith is being tried? That's what I just explained to you. The substance, which is faith, is being tried. And why is it being tried? It's because it is 
working out one important ingredient in their getting manifestation in God. And what is that? Patience. The shrine of your faith worketh patience. So he's not expecting you to give up. And, and listen, this word patience is, is, is a word many of God's children have misunderstood. What is patience? Now he says the trying of your faith or the reason your faith is going to be tried is because he wants to check out for patience. He wants to walk out patience in you. So I believe in God and I believe all these things he has said to me, which is my substance, which is faith. And then he says that substance is going to be tried. Okay, I want to get married to this person. Why do you want to get married to this person? Oh, I've been praying about it. And, and on the 5th of January, 2021, God spoke to me and, and said, this lady is the one I've chosen for you. So now you show because you believe you heard from the Lord. Now that's your substance. Whether you had a dream, whether you, you heard the voice of God, or there were now if God spoke to you in the spiritual, there's going to be certain physical confirmations that will prove that that's what God said. Now you've got all these things clear to you. Now, what is that substance? What is that faith? And you are going to take a decision based on that. Now that's the right thing to do, actually. And he is now telling you that the trying of that faith so now you have gotten into that relationship because you believe it is the lord and then suddenly challenges are thrown at you challenges that you don't understand now there is the tendency for someone to say look man i can't handle this i'm giving up i can't handle this again and they say, but I thought you said, God said, yeah, <laughs> leave that thing. Now, it, it just shows that you really didn't believe. You see, because before the Lord will confirm that thing, your patience is going to be checked. So how will your patience be checked? Trials will be thrown to that thing that you believe. You've got faith for, or faith in God for. So, now trials have come. And sometimes God will tell you, oh, do this thing. You know you heard God tell you, do this thing. And then you, you, when you were doing it, you had expectations. Maybe you're believing God for a job or for a house or something. And you're praying about it and the Lord says, take, it, take an offering. And, and sow it into so-and-so person's life or give it into that organization or ministry or something. And I said, oh, wow, praise God. Now, what's that substance have come? And then you obey the voice of God and you do what the Lord commanded you to do. And then after that, now your expectation is, is, is alive. You're believing this thing is going to come to pass. And then something happens otherwise or in the opposite direction that you don't seem to understand. And you are looking and, and wondering, but this is not what's supposed to happen. Remember, he says, your faith is being tried. And, and suddenly you go, hmm, uh, I hope that seed I sowed is in the right place. I, maybe that pastor did not pray for me as he was supposed to pray for me. No, no. What God is checking out in you is now he wants to see if what you did was the spur of the moment or if what you did is because truly you believe that he told you to do it. So what is going on now? test for patience is what is going on now. If patience is not there, then hear me, you are not ready to receive the real thing that God wants to give to you. That's how these things work, praise God. 
So it's your patience that God is looking for. But you don't see it. But like I said earlier, and I'll repeat it again and we close with this. God, if your patience is not intact, God cannot give you the real thing that he has in his mind for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Our time is up for now. We're going to continue this tomorrow. I don't want you to miss any day of this broadcast. So we'll continue tomorrow. Have the best day ever. God bless you. Bye.